Hey friends, welcome to a real special program. It's November the 4th. In just a couple of days, it's going to be Michigan's firearms deer season opener. And we're headed down to Kansas, but we'll be back. We're going to be here. We'll keep the Miss T streak alive. Opening morning, we'll be in the woods in West Michigan. What I wanted to do, though, even though we're going to be gone, was give you a little bit of a, shall we say, preseason pep talk, a little something extra, show you a little bit of things that we've done in the past that's worked for us on opening day and subsequent days of firearms deer season. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're going north, south, east, or west. Some things, when it comes to deer hunting, are universal. It doesn't really matter if you're young and just starting out. A doe and fawn were coming up alongside of our blind. I mean right outside the edge of it, not 10, 15 yards. This is one of those things that a young hunter has to learn to deal with. When you're hunting food sources, in this case acorns, deer can pop up from anywhere and they oft times do. You have to be careful. And you also have to pay attention. When deer start looking in a particular direction, you should too. Kai and I spent the next 20 minutes trying to keep track of the buck behind us without spooking the doe in front of us. That is, until we noticed some movement down near the swamp. This, friends, looked promising. I managed to get to her feet and ever so carefully ease that rifle out the window without spooking the buck. Can you see him? There you go. Turn this. Bah. Bah. Do you? Yeah. You sure? Okay. You got him, baby. You got him. <laughs> you got him. Put it back on safe. It looked like a good shot, honey. I had him with... You had a show him? Nice job. Oh, was that exciting? Yep, I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till your cousin see that. Drown, look in there and say, I got him, Daddy. I got him, Dad. <laughs> nice job. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> You're good. Is that exciting? Yeah, give me kisses. No, I don't usually mm. kiss deer hunters. Good job. You want to go find your deer? Can I put on my shoes first? Okay, we had to take your shoes off so you could you could uh, quit making noise on the chair, but we can put them back on. Kai, in her nervousness, was having a little trouble not clunking her feet off the metal chair rail, so I just took her shoes off. Hey, it worked. I'm not sure those are deer hunting boots. <laughs> I get to wear my leather boots. Yeah, I think so. Here, you put your shoes on. Here's the other one. And once we finally had those official deer hunting shoes back on, it was finally time to go find Kai's deer. <laughs> He's all done. Come here, baby. Give me some love. Nice job. Get a hold of that, big old boy. Reach on and grab a hold of that buck. That's your first buck, kid. Oh, you're heavy. Look at that. There's your first buck. You want some help? No, I got him. <laughs> here, you kneel down right there behind it. And see, can you hold that up? Get a hold of the bottom right here. Right down here. Right there. Both hands. You got to hold up hard. That's <laughs> heavy. That's a big old buck. <laughs> It's mine. I already unloaded this, so it's safe. 
There we go. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Huh? Mr. Hopkins, come here. Hey, buddy. Or you're just you young at heart. See the effect that the coming cold front was having on the deer that third day? Even the does and yearlings were willing to chance being close to a bigger buck just to get something to eat. It's real cold today. It's definitely down in the minus 10, minus 15 Celsius, but uh, Fahrenheit probably about 10 degrees. Falling temps definitely had the deer on their feet. Bill had seen all kind of critters except, yeah, for a big old shooter. And then when the young buck at the feed popped his head up and stood staring out into the brush, that, friends, is a shooter. High and heavy, at least 10 scorable points, no doubt about it. And then, believe it or not, a forked horn came out of the other side of the clearing with his head up as if to challenge that big boy. Well, that 10 point walked over there to put him in his place and... waiting for him to clear all them animals. It happens so quick here. It really does. When he took off, he was he punched up, so I'm pretty sure it's a good shot, but we're going to give him, I don't care, half hour if I have to. Look at that. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Holy cow, look at that buck. Shake him off here a little bit. <laughs> nice. Holy cow. Beautiful Saskatchewan buck. Sometimes you have to pull out all the stops. I mean, try everything you can think of. right there. I'm sure that whacked him. I saw him sort of whop sideways. I don't hear nothing. I know it whacked him. Oh, he was right there staring over top of that decoy. I looked up. I kept looking over here to our left because there's a trail that comes up there. Jason said, you know, they cross up out of that CRP there. So I kept watching there. And he pops up, pops up right there, right behind the decoy, staring right at it, walks up to within 10 feet of it. Five feet. It's a nice buck. He's not a monster buck, but you know what? That is a dandy. 130, 135. I could see at least nine points and one that was broke off and made in the 10. <sighs> the second week of firearm season. It's tough down here in Missouri, you know, tougher. A lot of guys went home with nice bucks from here already. But we got her done, bud. He's right here. Smell that? He's right here. He is right here somewhere in this second. Right over that edge. Oh yeah, oh ho. yeah, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> there he is right there, buddy. He's right there, laying right there, there by that big tree. We're going to leave him right there. We'll go get Jason and the guys. Everybody likes to do this, but that buck, I can see him from here. He's right there. <laughs> buddy, thank you, Lord. A lot of times you just have to keep going, you know, keep doing it till you get it right. Ever so slowly peeked up out of that ditch and... There stood what appeared to be a mature whitetail down through the brush. Now, friends, on a normal hunt, I'd take a lot more time to check this deer out. I might not even take a run at him, but on a one-day hunt... Here we go. You had him good, T? Yes, he's in the trees, but it's kind of blurry, but I'm on him. I was going to say... 
That deer didn't move. Tell you. me, uh, you want to sell this rifle? <laughs> no, no. Well, uh, yeah, he's a nice looking buck. Antlers in the grass, brother. That's, That's the way we like it. On a one day hunt in Wyoming. You gotta love it. Yeah, by the way, that was a one hour hunt. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. As you can see, gun's empty. Yes, sir. All righty. Good woodsmanship as usual. Look at that buck. I'm sure he's not just taking a nap. No, no. <laughs> Look at that buck. Put this down here. I want to scuff. That's pretty good gun you got there, man. That's my Grab baby. Grab a hold of that. Look at there. Oh, that, folks, cute. is a Wyoming whitetail. Just a nice three-year-old eight-point. Not the biggest buck by any stretch, but I'll tell you what. For a one-day deer, I had a one-day turkey hunt this year already. Yeah. And got a turkey, and now I got a one-day deer. One-day deer. <laughs> I really appreciate you let us come back. I know you guys are running hard. But, uh, you know, we had the chance, and T and I flew out here. What do you think, T? Was it worth getting on an airplane now? Okay. Yeah, T don't like <laughs> airplanes, folks. <laughs> I got that message yeah. at the airport she last don't like night. It. And then, I guess I should tell you the whole story. It's not just a great buck. That gun, the reason I wanted to buy it, the airlines lost Whisper. That's right. Tina's rifle, yeah, they lost it. We still don't have it. We were up till after midnight waiting on it. And we had one day. This yeah, is it. We have to leave it. tomorrow. We literally flew in. We would hope to get out in the field last night and do some hunting. No gun. Mike very kindly ran all the way back home. Yeah. Brought me his favorite rifle, which he tells me he won't let his mother touch. <laughs> and if Mike's mom's watching, I'm sorry. It's a good thing you're not my mom. Well, yeah. <laughs> you definitely want to be prepared for the unexpected. Oh, yeah, there was a buck and a doe sitting right out in the middle of an open field. Unfortunately, about the time I saw them, yeah, they saw us too. Still, they didn't go blowing off. They just trotted over the hill. So I told Mike, you know, what can it hurt? Let's ease up to this hill and peek over. Who knows, they might not have gone too far. And yeah, probably 150 yards isn't too far. There they were, standing right out in the middle of that field. They were looking at something. I didn't know what it was, but it wasn't us. So I told Mike, we got nothing to lose. Let's just ease on out there, see how close we can get. I was fully aware that at most times of the year, trying to sneak up on a mature whitetail is a pretty low percentage deal. But friends, if there's one time you might get away with it, it's during the rut. These deer were actually watching another buck way across the field chasing a doe around. And every time they'd look the other way, we'd get a little closer. And when we finally made it to that fence, well then all we needed was for that doe to get out of the way so Mike could have a clear shot. You ready? Burning down. hit him. He's going down, buddy. Right there. He he did the barrel roll flip. He is down and out. <laughs> nice job, Hunting buddy. with Kyle Randall, my idol. How do you like it, buddy? Yeah, there goes his girlfriend. She's quit him. You notice how them women just leave him, just quit him right they off the bat. They quit real quick, too, don't they? <laughs> they off looking for another man already. Probably so. Probably so. Well, good job, partner. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> He ain't just taking a nap. No, he's not <laughs> napping. Good job, buddy. What right, a I'll beauty. Hold that. You go ahead, get on there and get a hold of that beast. Look at Look that. Look at that. Beauty. Is a gorgeous, gorgeous buck. Whoa. Whoa. One, two, three, 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 three. public Eleven. school. Eleven. <laughs> Look at that. That thing has got easy foot long G2s. Oh, yeah. What a smoker. What a, look at the character in there. Right? That is the classic Wyoming whitetail. That is exactly what guys come here for. Mm. Uh, and gals. <laughs> what a what a gorgeous buck and what a great stock. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? We come it? around that corner and I looked out there, see folks, I was the guy. When so, you spotted him, I thought, like, what is he talking yeah. about? There's nothing over there. It's like, oh, man. Well, you look out across this big old field, and you think, there ain't nothing out there. And I, all I saw at first was antlers, and I wasn't even sure, but then it was pretty obvious when he turned his Yeah, head. when we turned our head, it was yeah, pretty so, obvious. But uh, they don't want that to fall. That old shooter right there, two bucks in one day. Two bucks in one day. That's my baby. It's, uh, my friends, honest to goodness now. It is a quarter to 11. And a lot of practice with your rifle or shotgun is always a good idea. Walking up out of the bottom. 
And when she stopped and looked back, I dropped to my knees thinking, boy, there must be something following her, but I couldn't see anything. And then Tim made a sound that <laughs> could only mean one thing. That right there, that's doing work. Good shooting. It's the last day. It's the morning of the last day of Montana's firearm deer season. We're out here freezing to death. We've been pounding it for a week. We've seen a lot of great deer. There is a smoker butt. Come on. Well, friends, there he is. The last minute Montana miracle, and what a smoker. That buck is 24 wide, Tim. Easy. But in the end, the number one tip for success I can give you in deer hunting is persistence. You absolutely cannot shoot a buck from your living room. Michigan's firearm deer season opener, 2011, not quite as good as 2010. No. We've seen a few deer. Some does. Yeah, no, no horns this time. No. It happened. Well, yeah. Still, it was a nice morning, clear. And you never know. Might be something later on in the season. Still, you know, I'd like to thank Bill. Oh, yeah. For letting us hunt out here and for all the help setting the blind up. And who knows? Might see something tonight. You don't know. It could be helpful. Still. I'm patient. There's a deer right there. There's a buck coming. Get your gun out. I'm not kidding. Right straight out. Coming right at you. Right straight down. I don't see anything. In that gap to the right of the pine tree. See him? I can't see him at the moment. So I'm turning look. When I told you to get your gun. Definitely a buck. I can see horns on it with my naked eye. I started grunting again. I knew I'd seen a buck just for a second over T's shoulder when she was getting ready to leave. And now I was trying to convince her to stay, you know, keep hunting, keep trying. chasing a doe. I just saw him for a second when you were talking to her. He turned and looked right at the camera that I saw his ears and his antlers. He was out there about 80 yards. And I think he was chasing a doe. You said you saw something go running back the other way. Yeah. Well, I think we have set for a little bit more, don't you? Yeah, I guess. We sat for almost another full hour, and T really was getting ready to leave. So I told her, you know, let me grunt one more time. You never know. And it's a buck coming. Get your gun out. Yeah, good buck. He's coming. I'm going to grind him up. I told you. He's coming around the pine tree. Just get on him. Get ready. Here we go. Just get on him. Can you see him there? Yeah, I can see him. Okay.
You hit him. Yeah. You hit him. I saw him kick. I couldn't see that. Oh, smoke. yeah. You hit him. Big buck, too. Nice. Looked like a big eight point. Oh. Can you see him? He went right in that way. He went left, yeah. Oh, it's too much smoke. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure I saw him kick in the can. Oh. I hope so. Well, I know so. I was shaking. <laughs> well, it's exciting stuff. Girlfriend, <laughs> you are a killer at noon on opening day. That's why you stay later. You want to go to lunch. What do you think now? Oh. <laughs> Worth 10 more minutes of waiting? Oh, I hope I got him. Oh, you hit him. You I hit couldn't him. see anything from the smoke. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I seen him kick. And now you know why I always say never leave right on the hour. Always wait. Give it one more try. 10 oh. more minutes. I saw him walking, just a horn walking that way. Well, that's that he was coming to the grunt. That's why I say grunt one more time, try one more time, anything <laughs> you can do oh, to geez. keep yourself in the stand. Oh, I hope I got him. Oh, yeah. We'll go find him. We'll go find him. Oh. You the girl. Oh, I hope so. Opening day girl. <laughs> oh, I hope the so. The streak is alive. <laughs> we haven't found him yet. <laughs> we will. Oh. You want to go look? Yeah, let's go look. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's going to have a fit. You're, take, you're shooting all the deer on his lease. <laughs> you are the dame of the deer woods. Look at that buck. Look at him. And you did, and you shot a bigger buck like you said. You said last year you got a fork and horn. You're going to hold out for a better buck. That's a nice two-year-old eight. Michigan's opening day. Friends, I hope that got your juices flowing. I hope that got you out there. I hope you've already been out and had some success. You know, deer season is a special thing. Anytime you can put your hands on your food, it's something special. And if you take someone from your family, a loved one, a good friend, somebody else out and show them what we love and enjoy, well, that makes it even more special. Hey, from all of us here at the Wilderness Journal, happy hunting. I hope you had a great season. There's a lot more of it to come, and I hope you stick it out. If you watch the show, you know sometimes it's just persistence that wins out. Above all, we hope to see each and every one of you right back here. We hope to be able to share that cup and a fire and another adventure from our wilderness journey.